Hi, Mr. Spone here, and today we're going to look at some octet rule violations, and we're going to talk about how to draw the preferred Lewis structure for uh, sulfuric acid. So we're just going to open up a little can of worms as we're getting to the end of drawing our Lewis structures. So there's going to be three cases where uh, the octet rule can be violated. Remember, it's a rule, not a law. There's a few notable exceptions to it. And remember that Lewis structures are really limited two-dimensional drawings. There's going to be limited in what they can do and what they can tell us. But uh, they are useful, so we still draw them. Um, the first rule, or the first of the three uh, cases that can violate the octet rule are molecules with an odd number of electrons. Recall that nitrogen has five EEs. If we have nitric oxide, there's no way possible to get an octet out of this because there's an odd number. You just can't get it. Um, oxygen has six valence electrons, nitrogen has five. That's 11 total valence electrons. You cannot get an octet around both of them with an odd number of valence electrons. So it's just never going to work. And this is an actual molecule that exists, but um, it violates the octet rule for that reason because nitrogen only has five, an odd number. Other cases, we have molecules with less than eight electrons. We already know that um, hydrogen doesn't form an octet. Um, hydrogen only has two. And the same thing can happen with boron and beryllium. Uh, boron fluoride, uh, beryllium chloride, same thing. Um, think about it. Boron has three valence electrons. Hydrogen has one each. There's six total VEs. How could you ever get an octet? You can never get eight electrons when you only have six total in this molecule to begin with. So sometimes uh, molecules have less than eight electrons. We don't get an octet. And the final case is occasionally with... As we move down the periodic table, sometimes we're going to see Lewis structures drawn with molecules that are violating the octet rule. All our fluorines are going to be perfectly fine. They're going to have octets, but we're saying that sulfur has 12 electrons around it. This is uh, common to see these hypervalent bonding and things of that nature. As we move down the periodic table, um, this does sometimes happen when we draw these. So there are, these are the three cases where octet violations can occur. Don't worry, I'm not going to try to trick you on a test and give you something crazy. Uh, we're going to draw the same ones we've been drawing in class. But what I do want to do is I want to look at two different ways to draw sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is H2SO4. And let's draw the Lewis structure for this. Just get a little practice to make sure. Um, we have H2 connecting to an SO4. So if we draw, if we drew SO4, we know that we're going to draw an S with four O's around it. We have 32 valence electrons. Each hydrogen has one. Um, each oxygen has four. It's 24, 25, 26. And sulfur also has six. It's right below oxygen on the periodic table. So we're going to put sulfur in the middle. And we're going to connect four oxygens to it. O, 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 O. And we're just going to pick a random two to attach the hydrogens. So remember, hydrogens usually always go on the outside, and they connect to the oxygens. So how many electrons did we use? This is our skeleton structure, two, four, six, eight, ten. We used 12 of our 32 VEs, which means we have 20 left. Well, this oxygen has four electrons around it, one, two, three, four. So let's give it four more. And the same thing over here. Let's give this one four more. So we used eight of our 20 valence electrons. We have 12 left. And let's now give these oxygens an octet. And we'll put six on each using up all our valence electrons. And now we have none left. And we have octet, 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 octet. And this seems like a pretty good structure. Um, drawing sulfuric acid with a single bond. But as we're going to see, there's going to be some cases where you might see online where people are going to draw this with um, two double bonds. They're going to take um, two of these electrons from the oxygen and bring them down into double bonds. Is this correct? Why are they going to do it? We're not really going to get too deep into this question. I'm going to tell you the preferred answer today probably, but it's not an issue for really high school chemistry to resolve. Um, I just want to see where we're coming from, why sometimes there's two schools of thought on how to draw Lewis structures. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the formal charge of each one. And people who draw, um, some people are really concerned with octets. They don't like octet violations, so they're going to draw sulfuric acid like this. 
Some people really put a lot of emphasis on formal charge, so they're going to want to draw the Lewis structure like this, as we're going to see, because the rule is we want our formal charge to be as close to zero as possible, and usually when the formal charge is closer to zero, that's the preferred structure. So you have two schools of thought on this, and let's just do our formal charge to see what's going on. Um, remember, formal charge is the number of valence electrons in a neutral form of it, minus the unshared, and we're going to just cross this out, put the number of bonds. Half of the shared electron, so if it's a bond, um, you're just sharing one bond shares two electrons, so it's the same thing. So let's do sulfur. Uh, sulfur has six normally. How many unshared do I have here? Well, I don't have any unshared here. Zero. Um, how many bonds are connected to it? Well, there's four bonds connected to it. Six minus zero plus four is going to be a formal charge of two. So sulfur here is going to have a formal charge of 2. And if we do the hydrogen on the left, um, this is a hydrogen in a single bond. That should be a 0. It's always a 0. And so on. So um, if we do sulfur on this side, we're going to come up with a formal charge of 0. And the reasoning is uh, we have how many valence electrons? There's 6 minus the number of unshared electrons. We don't have any unshared electrons. But how many bonds do we have? We have 6 bonds. So the formal charge of this ends up being zero. And if you keep doing the math out, both hydrogens have zero. And as it turns out, the oxygen on the left, oxygen on the right has zero. Remember, these oxygens are a little different, so we have to do them separately. And uh, for this one, the oxygen on the top has a minus one. The oxygen on the bottom has a minus one. So this is a minus one, minus one. Everything else is zero for a formal charge. And on the right side, everything is zero. So that's the school of thought. Um, we have an octet violation versus a formal charge that's not really preferable. And that's why we end up sometimes with two drawings for sulfuric acid. I know even if you check the Wikipedia page, this is the image you'll see. You'll see a lot of chemists sometimes drawing it like this way because they're emphasizing formal charge and so on. Um, it seems due to quantum mechanics today that this, uh, I think the tide has switched more towards this one being the preferred structure. Um, but again, this is not really an issue to worry about in high school chemistry. But I just wanted you to see the two schools of thought, um, why sometimes we draw things uh, with double bonds or triple bonds. It's either you're, some people are going to focus more on octets and some people are going to say, well, you know, as we get down the periodic table, uh, we could expand the octet. We want to keep formal charge the same. Again, remember Lewis structures are limited to dimensional diagrams. And there's some more robust chemistry out there, but they are very useful. And you're going to see there's going to be a big debate about this one, which is why I'm having you draw it. You might miss it or you might not. Um, we'll go over this in class. This will be an assignment. And we'll talk about the different ways you can draw this structure. So... Um, this is Mrs. Bone. Hopefully that helps you with some octet violations and kind of opens a little can of worms on some higher level chemistry. I'm out.